Ah, what a lovely day for a wedding. I hope nothing goes wrong. Steggy, you have to help me. Hey up, what's the matter? Get away from her, Steggy. That's not me. That's a slug monster. What the actual? No, she's the slug monster. You're the slug monster. You're ruining my wedding. You're ruining my wedding. No, you. Okay, which one of you is the real Betrella? Me? No, me! Me! I, uh... I had a feeling it wouldn't be that easy. A slug monster says what? 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 Tell me something only the real Betrella would know. I know you were once sick in my handbag. I know you blamed it on normal Paul. It was normal Paul. Tell me something you can't find on Twitter. I know you're afraid you're being watched by a duck. I know the duck is called Bernard. Bernard? My brother Bernard? Is a duck? This is no use. This is classic you, Betrella. This has only happened once before, Steggy. Yeah, I mean, it's not like this always happens. Okay, okay, whatever. I guess Muggins here needs to get this sorted out. Hurry! Everyone's waiting for me. They're waiting for me. No me. No me. <sighs> All right, Stella. No one calls me that anymore, Uncle. Petrella has been cloned by a slug monster. Ah, so that's why there's two of them. Yes! Aren't you Burnley's foremost authority on slugs? No, but I did have a slug in my garden once. Close enough. Any idea how to build a slug monster detector? Hmm, let me see. Slugs are attracted to beer, aren't they? And slugs are also stickier than humans. That could be useful knowledge. And salt, of course. Slugs eat salt. Ah, but there's no salt for miles. I'd better get cracking. It's nice seeing you again, Stella. Yes. Two pints of your finest ales, my good man. Invitation? You're kidding. No invitation, no beer. But this is a bridesmaid's dress. You think I normally dress like this? You get all sorts in here. Fine, I'll pay with cash. Two pints? That'll be one million pounds, please. Hilarious. Invitation or bugger off. I've had enough of this. Don't forget to leave a tip. Hey up, Bilge. <sighs> Go away, Staggy. No, you go away. I were here first, Grandma. You're a cheeky bugger. You're a smelly fart. How dare you? You know this is a wedding, right? You could have got dressed up. Why are you like this? Is this going to take all day? I have important work to do. So what's that robot thing? Oh my god! Don't you know anything? That is my Yorkshire Robotics robot. I thought they only made robots for old people. Why haven't you got one then? Didn't those get recalled or something? Yeah, something about it's got Asperger's in it. You mean asbestos? Whatever. You can't get high on it anyway. How do you even inhale a robot? You can't. It's too big. Oh my god. I feel you lack parental supervision. You're just jealous I drive a better car than you. You're ten years old. And you're a hundred years old. So what? Lovely chatting, as always. Whatever. It's a Yorkshire Robotics robot made from asbestos. I think I have to take it now. 
I'm sorry, but this isn't a safe toy. Tyranny! It's for your own good. This is the nanny state. Yeah, and I'm going to put this robot in a crusher. <laughs> I think he's a bit salty. Hey up, Steggy. Bertrella's been cloned by a slug monster. Classic Bertrella. I know, right? Please may I have your invitation? No. Please may I have your invitation? No. I heard you weren't invited to the wedding. Bertrella was very specific. Lies. No, Bernard, that's what she said. Oh, yeah? What do you call this, then? Oh, it's your invitation. Never mind. I'll just hang on to this for safety. Okay. So how's that novel coming on? A treatise on sociological implications of contemporary robotics. I thought it was a story about a cat called Jeff Goldblum. It isn't. And he goes to buy a little hat from a shop. That isn't what happens. But the hat is made out of meat. No. So he eats it. Where are you getting this from? And he has to buy another hat. Okay, fine. Yes, I'm nearly done. Happy? Very. I'm going to sort out this slug situation. Have fun. I think I'd better sort out this slug situation before going in there. Uh, hello, dear. Couldn't help noticing you have a perfume sprayer. Why, yes, it's habit number five. Beautiful, don't you agree? I don't suppose I could borrow your perfume. Whatever for, my dear, you smell delightful. <laughs> like Christmas pudding. Seriously, though, please, I need it. <laughs> like freshly washed socks. It's an emergency, really. Like cashmere mittens. Bertrella has been cloned by a slug monster. Again? I know, she must attract him or something. Bye, Mrs Grubwump. Don't forget to come to my shop. Mittens are socks for your hands. I will, Mrs Grubwump. <laughs> Ah, oh, is that a Yorkshire Robotics hurricane in your hand? Ooh, that tickles. It's a sink filled with what can only be described as matter. Maybe this isn't the best venue for a wedding. Oh, there's a right nasty bit of addock in there. Oh, what a stink. I bet they can smell this at other end of the valley. No. Oh my goodness, you smell like a tramp's underpads. I don't suppose I could borrow your perfume now then. Oh yes, yes, take it, please. Now go, before I chuck up the dinner. Say no more, Mrs Grubwump. I have an invitation now. Happy? No, but what can I get you? Two pints of Mytham Royd Muggle Brew. It's off. Damn you. Two pints of Topmud and Tipple. It's off. Seriously? Two pints of Ellen's Finest Liver Bypass. Coming right up. Oh, no. It's off. Naturally. Two pints of Sobe Pumper. It's 
off. Really? Oh, wait, hang on. I forgot to turn the beer thingy on. The beer thingy? Yeah, right, here you go. Was that so hard? So bit pump, eh? Oh, lovely. Give me some. Me first. No, me. Hmm. Results inconclusive. I'd better not. They're already furious with me. It's sticky mud. Lovely, lovely mud. It's good and sticky, but it's too clumpy. I wonder if there's something I could mix it with. Sorry about this, robot. I really hope you can't feel pain. Oh well. Okay. Mash the mud and the asbestos together. Wow! Not too clumpy, not too dusty. It's like sticky brown confetti. Hey up, look at this. It's sticky brown confetti. Try not to breathe it in though. Oops. What's wrong with you, Steggy? I needed to know which one of you was the stickiest. Uh, she's the stickiest. No, it's her. Bloody hell. Goodbye, Ebden number five. Hello, empty bottle. Yeah, that's it. Give me your tears. This has to work. You spread me. Me too. Either of you feeling a bit melty? Melty? No. Angry? Yes, she's melting though, look. I'm not, you are, look. Oh, come on. Well, that's all three tests. I still have no idea which one of you is which. So, what now? Steggy, help. What's happened? I've been cloned by a slug monster. Steggy, help. You know what? Steggy, help. No, that's just ridiculous now. Sort it out yourselves. <laughs> It's the Great Yorkshire Pie Baking Competition. I'm making my special meat and potato pie. I've already made the pastry. Time for the filling. Recipe for special meat and potato pie. Make the pastry, done that, chuck the potato in, then add the special meat. Pop it in the oven at quite hot and leave it until it smells amazing. Ooh, here's everything I need. I'll take the potato and the special meat. Lovely. Chucking the potato in. Wait a minute. This isn't special meat. It's just normal meat in a special meat wrapper. Who could have done this? And more importantly, where am I going to find some real special meat on competition day? Not now, Steggy. I'm watching Yorkshire's fattest dogs. 
My life is ruined. My special meat. It's, it's just normal meat. Bloody Nora. Look at the size of that doggo. Put wheels on it and you've got a bus. Mum. I consider this fat pupper show problematic. I'll tell you what's problematic. Uh-oh. You, you eating all my biscuits. I need special meat. Now, now, Mum, now. What do I look like to you? Am I a butcher? Am I a cow? Just chop off a bit of my own flank, shall I? Fine. Any idea where I can find special meat today? It's the Yorkshire Pie competition, isn't it? Yes. So, all the butchers will be closed, because they'll be down the park. Exactly. Well, I know exactly what you should do, Stiggy. What's that, Mum? Get a job. Helpful, Mum. Thanks. Well, enjoy the dog thing. I'm off. Good. Oh, there's a letter for you. Oh, it's uh, from Petrella. She said it was like life or death. Crikey. Where is it? It's uh, on, on the floor somewhere. I, I don't know. Mum, it's too dark to find anything in here. Ah, well, have, have fun with that. It, it's too bright. Turn it off. I need the light. Hmm, it's from Batrella next door. Dear traitor, you ruined my wedding. Now I ruin your pie. Oh God, no. She's got all my special meat. Oh no. This Labrador's got stuck in the door. Why would Batrella do this? We're meant to be best friends. Well, 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 if it isn't bridesmaid of the year... You're being sarcastic, right? You're being sarcastic. Obviously. Okay, Vitrella, hand over the meat. You've got some cheek after what you did. What did I do? Oh, you know exactly what you did. Honestly, some exposition here would be helpful. You're going to pretend you've forgotten, eh? Right. Well, do you remember my wedding? No. It was three days ago. Wow. I got cloned by a slug monster. Again? You really don't remember any of this. I mean, it rings a bell, I suppose. Right, well, I asked you for help with the slug monster clone thing. I needed you to prove I was the real me. Which I did. Nope. Ah. You remember what you actually did? I covered you in mud. Sorry. Aye, you ruined my wedding dress. Sorry. Actually, you can take it with you and get it washed. And don't be putting it in with your pants. I drenched you in salt water. Aye, you tried to kill me slunkin clone. I had reasons. Go and make it up to her. You're friends now? Aye, well we have a lot in common, Steggy. Fine, make amends to your slug monster clone. Easy. I got you totally drunk. Aye, but I'm not fussed about that. You can do that whenever you like. Yeah! I left before the ceremony started. I am not bothered about that. I ate your dinner. Yeah! But you know what my husband's like. He's sensitive. Normal Paul? You better go say sorry. He's in the kitchen, crying probably. <sighs> okay then. That's everything? It'll do. So if I do all this, I can have my special meat? It's not about the meat, Steggy. It's sort of about the meat for me, Batrella. Just make amends and we can be friends, alright? Okay. Oh, hello. Come to apologise, have you? I've got nothing to be sorry about. And you're baking your normal meat pie then? Maybe I will. Okay, I'm sorry. Go on. I'm ultra sorry. Hmm, please continue. I am the living embodiment of sorrow. Steggy, I can't accept your apology until you rebalance 
the cosmic scale of normality. The cosmic scale of normality? You made our wedding super, super, super weird, Steggy. Hey, it wasn't me that cloned Petrella. And yet, I require a gift. A gift of such superlative normalness that the scale of normality shall at last be balanced. How about pie? You want some pie? P pies? You can't balance cosmic normality with pie. Silly me. Everyone knows that. Is there a specific gift you have in mind? Well, obviously, you need to find something that's exceptionally normal. Right. Probably a 37 on the Udderbuttock Gromley Normality Index. Okay. Here. Take my udgrammometer. Udblagometer? Find something between 35 and 38 udgrams and bring it here. Udalopter? See you later. Don't do anything weird. It's the special meat I need for my special meat and potato pie. I need it. I'm just going to take this special meat. That's only for friends. Hey, let me in. Go away. Oh my god, a talking bush? No, uh, I mean, yeah. Yeah, I'm a talking bush. Now bugger off. <laughs> Uh, You're a robot! Keep your voice down, love. Who are you? I'm Teddy. Terry doesn't seem like a robot name. I like Teddy. Alright, I'm Teddy. So, are you in hiding or something? Are you fudging kidding me, love? You some sort of gardening robot? I did some gardening once. Got mud in all my cracks. Not doing that again, I said. They didn't listen. So I stomped their flowers, didn't I? Flatten the lot. Never got asked again. Excuse me, I've never met a robot before. Well, what's to know? I was made by Yorkshire Robotics. I am designed to be safe, clean and normal. Listen up, Terry. Normal or not, you're coming with me. No, the only robot who could tell me I'm normal and give me all clear is dead. There's no hope, love. No hope at all. I'd better go. Keep your voice down. No doubt about it, that robot is exactly what normal Paul needs. Hey up, not seen you before. What do you want? I would like to come in please. Why? I'm just going through every door I see to be honest. Come on then. What's the password? It's a trick question. There is no password. Ha! No! A password, eh? What's going on in there? Are you doing crime? It's none of your business! I think you're doing crime. This is a crime house. It's not! It is! Crime! Crime is happening here! Look, it's just a secret club, okay? Members only! Ooh, can I join your club? A human, no chance! Did you just say human? Uh, no. This is a slug monster club, isn't it? No! This is a stupid door anyway. That's it. Clear off! Welcome to Walter Print, the home of great value, not witches. I think you just said witches by mistake. There be no witches here, girl! It's a life-size picture of a robot's face. Neat! Ye could take it, child. I appear to have come in here by mistake.
Welcome to Windyprint, home of great value, not vampires. Oh boy. I'd really better be going. Beware the moon. No, you, you can't make me go in there. This is a very fancy looking bike. Custom plate too. Pie man. Hello, you're not local are you? No girl. If I lived in this grot pile you called a town, I'd have to kill myself. Ah, you must be from London. Who are you and what are you doing here? Don't you know who I am? Should I? Don't they have television here? What about the internet? What about electricity? Do you have that? You are a most unpleasant man. What's this town called again? Turdbridge? Is that your bike outside? You keep your hands off that bike. Are you Pie Man then? You honestly don't know? I'm Greg Pyman. Whoa. You don't know who that is, do you? No. Actually, I don't want to talk to you. Good. Get off that, you bloody peasant. It won't open. No way I'm paying real cash money for this. It's a washer that's ready to go. The only thing in there is a pair of underpants. Plenty of room for Betrella's stupid dress. It is unpushable. Not today. Hello? I won't need to go into town today. Slug hunter herself. I'm no slug hunter. How very dare you? You sprayed me with salt water. Not enough to kill you. You didn't know that though. That's a fair point. Sorry about trying to kill you that one time. Thanks, Deggy. I appreciate that. So can I tell the real, er, uh, other Betrella we're friends? No, I, I need your help with this protest first. Ah, oh. You tried to kill me. Okay, fair enough. So what's this protest then? We're protesting the pie competition. Why? What have pies ever done to slug monsters? We're called Slugkin. And it's not the pies, it's the judge. Who's the judge? Just some fancy bugger who hates us. So what help do you need with this protest? I need you to get me out of it. Seriously? It's so boring, Steggy. You've got to save me. So what's keeping you here? It's Randy down at Slugkin Club. He's the boss. You want me to murder him? No, just, you know, talk to him with your mouth. But what about the cause? I will. Obviously that's dead important. But ultimately, you're a clone of Betrella. Hi. Which means you just want to go to the pub. Hi. See you later. Get me out of this, Steggy. An unattended bag. Crime. 
Crime is happening. Clearly, it's my civic duty to take an unattended bag. This feels wrong somehow, and yet she persisted. Hmm, it's a notepad that says diabolical schemes. Aha, contraband. Some tiny firecrackers. Retrospective moral justification for the win. It's mostly a few hundred ways to use stink bombs. There is one vaguely diabolical scheme though. Go to one of the trophy shops, order a worst trophy shop trophy, then give that trophy back to them and say, you win! Whoa! A visit to town would be nice, but I don't have time for that today. See you later. Get me out of this, Steggy. Come on then. What's the password? This is a stupid door anyway. That's it. Clear off! What kind of terrible monster do you take me for? I would literally never use that diabolical scheme. Unless it was important. I should try talking first. Maybe he'll share his washer if I ask. What are you washing? Looks like you're just washing a single pair of underpants. Have you had an accident? How dare you! Say, there's a lot of room in your washer. So what? Well, I have this dress I need to get washed. Plenty of other washers, girl. But there's so much room in there. Your underpants are lonely. Get a job, hippie. Come on, let's share. Or else. Or else what? Violence. Terrible, unthinkable levels of violence. LOL! I'm off to plot your ruin. As if. A few little bangs should be enough to lure him out. Three, two, one. What? My bike. My precious bike. You did this. You're from London. You brought this on yourself. Madness. Madness. I'm calling the police. You wait right there. Ha. <laughs> nope. You stay away from my pants, you hear me? I have the place to myself. It's already open. There's nothing to take out. Okay, that's ready to go. Just shut the door and it should begin. This is going to take hours. Uh-oh, that was suspiciously fast. Oh no, it's tiny now. Petrella's going to kill me. Well, it's clean. It's also tiny now. Oops. Please, tell me my pants are okay. Honestly, I'm as surprised about this as you are.
You're actually 37 udgrams of normal. No, that's not true. That's impossible. It's true. It says it right here. Lies. I can't be normal. Why do you think I'm hiding? I'm been hunted by a spork jogger. Spork jogger? Spork jogger? They're an elite team of bounty hunters tracking down rogue robots that aren't normal enough, like me. So, you plan to just spend the rest of your life in this shrubbery? Well, I was going to, but then a bloody human came along and ruined it. Listen up, Terry. Normal or not, you're coming with me. No, the only robot who could tell me I'm normal and give me all clear is dead. There's no hope, love. No hope at all. Say, you haven't overheard any passwords. Oh, you mean for the secret slugging thing over there? Exactly. I must have heard it hundreds of times. So what is it? Um... Tell me the password. Alright, keep your hair on, love. Wait a minute, this is stupid. Hey, you, slug monster in door. What do you want, Terry? I just told her your password. Bloody hell, Terry! May as well just let her in. This is a secret club, Terry! You're welcome. So what makes you think you're not normal? Well, I'm hiding in a bush, aren't I? That's it? Why not just come out? I can't, because spork joggers will get me. But the only thing wrong with you is that you're hiding in a bush. I don't make the rules, love. And how do we get you back to normal? Hmm, I suppose another robot could run my diagnostics. Give me all clear. Go on. But they all just damn me to spork joggers, traitorous buggers, the lot of them. You must have a robot friend. Hmm, well, there is Keith. Okay, where is Keith? Remember the mission to put a robot on moon? That were Keith? No, but he was under rocket when it launched. Wow! How did he survive that? Oh. I'd better go. So, can I come in then? Why? Why do you want to come in? I've come to murder Randy. Damn it. I've come to talk to Randy. Talking, eh? Huh? What about... Stuff? It's stuff, is it? I can't argue with that. Whoa, is everyone here a slug monster? Hey, she's the one that tried to kill Bertrella 13. Is that true? Chuck her out, Boris. Wait, please. You cloned my friend. Prepare to die. What did I say? She's the only monster here. That does sound really bad. No, wait. I desperately need a cup of tea. She just wants tea. We can all relate to that. No tea for criminals. Chuck her out. No, wait. I'm here to talk to Randy. Me? What do you want to talk to me about? You have to let Slug Kim Bertrella go. Oh, has Bertrella been moaning again? If you make her stay there much longer, I think she might die. All the Bertrella clones are like this. So you let her go? <sighs> Look, we need some leaflets printed up. Leaflets about what? About what a bleeding tosspot that judge is! Aye. He's our greatest enemy, the Slug Killer. Okay, give me the leaflet. We uh, haven't actually written it yet. Oh, come on. Uh, we've all got some ideas for it, though, haven't we, Boris? He's a feckin' tosspot. So, get some quotes from us, get it printed, jobs are good. Fine. So, what's your quote for the leaflets? He's trying to make it illegal for us to clone people. But in your natural state, you don't have thumbs or hands. Exactly. So, I could say he wants to cut off your hands. Oh, I like that. Put that in. 
Do you have a quote for the leaflet? He wants permission to farm Slugkin for the sticky ghoul. That's dark. He dabbles in cages with humans going at us with spoons. I think that speaks for itself. So, you're a tiny Betrella. Sometimes the cloning goes wrong, Steggy. You look sad. Why do you look sad? I'm supposed to be getting married this weekend. To tiny Norman Paul? You have to help me, Steggy. I should say, I'm not good with weddings. It's me dress. It's... It's normal sized. And you're extremely petite. I said I need a tiny one. Tiny, I said. Too much to ask, apparently. That's harsh. I'd better not. You mentioned you need a tiny wedding dress. It just so happens I have this thing here. Oh my god, Steggy. You've saved my wedding. I don't suppose I could have your full-sized one, could I? Yeah, I don't need it. Too small for you, though, Steggy. It's not for me. Anything you want on the leaflet? It is set. He has underpants. Made from the skin of us looking. Whoa. He's the only monster here. Okay, I'll put dresses himself in the skin of a slugkin. Wow. That fiend. I think that's enough quotes now. Just needs printing somehow. Right, I'm ready. You may enter. So, uh, what's with the box? I'm hiding my face. See, you make it sound like that was a stupid question. Wait, are you a steggy clone? With your stupid lumpy head? I don't think so. Hey! Oh God, are you another Betrella clone? There's about 20 Betrella clones now. So she does attract Slugkin then? She's just... So buttery smooth. You better just tell me right now. You promise you won't be angry? I promise I don't have any salt water on me. Fair enough. The truth is, I've cloned your mum. What? Get a job, Steggy. No, no, no. Don't do that. Sorry. Say, are you using that box? It's mine. Get your own box. Come on, you did clone my mum, you owe me. Fine, if it'll shut you up. Yay! So, you're kind of naked. What's the matter? Does our natural state disgust you? It's... Very different. Hater! It's just, there's a lot more sticky goo than I was expecting. Bye! You're the boss then. How's that working out? Aye, it's not bad. Organising this lot's a pain in me bum though. I can imagine. And that Burchella clone is a chuffing nightmare. Are there a lot of Petrella clones then? Oh, she's so nice to clone. A lovely smooth head. Am I going to be cloned one day? You? Old lumpy head? I don't think so. Old lumpy head? Bye. Your job is looking after the door. And the password. You don't have to do that now. I loved that password. I'm sorry. That box isn't shiny enough. I've got a leaflet I need printing. I cannot print for ye today, my child. That hateful beast next door. She's cursed my printer! 
Ye mark my words. She is from the depths of hell itself! Right. So you're not a fan of Wendy Print then? We were married once. Say no more. Back then she... I know. I mean literally say no more. Please. Suit yourself. I need a leaflet printing. Preferably for free. No money, eh? Then I shall pit you against the devil himself! Not this again. Have that foul stench, Walter, close his pestilential shop for the day, and you shall have ye leaflets. And Walter Print's printer is broken, so I'm basically stuck. Happy days. I'd really better be going. Beware the moon. I would like to order a trophy, please. Aye, I can do you a trophy. Uh, what shall it say? Um, worst trophy shop? Hello? This again, is it? Ye be doing the work of a demon. Sorry, did I say worst trophy shop? I meant to say... Uh, best trophy shop? Oh, this is a trophy shop owner's dream, my child. For years I have pursued the dream of value, and not having witches, in my shop. You're a hero. Here ye go. Right, well, um... Aren't ye going to present it to me? Sorry, you were the runner-up. I see what be happening here. Ye had me make a best trophy shop trophy for that unholy beast next door! This town has fallen to the devil. It is too late to save it. Well, balls to ye! I leave ye accursed souls in the hands of Wendy! May the Lord have mercy on your putrid, rancid soul! So, you gonna shut down for the day? GET OUT! I feel like I'm lucky to get out of there alive. Walter Print is closed. You have struck a fine blow against evil, my child. I'm not proud. Can I have my leaflets now? You may. And what shall be written upon them? Down with the slug hunter. Lovely. Then? He wants to farm Slugkin for their goo. With spoons. And after that? He dresses himself in the skin of Slugkin. And what next? He wants to cut off Slugkin hands. Then? That's it. Very well. This fellow sounds like a prize beast. Very much so. Who is he? He's called... Uh, you know, I didn't think to ask. I see. Here are ye leaflets. You again? Come in then. Ah, it's not bad this. I will let Bertrella go to the pub. Yes. I mean, assuming she aren't already gone.
Petrella, it's sorted. You're free to go. Speggy, you're a saint. He had me writing leaflets against the competition, Judge. The competition you're about to make a pie for? Hey, now wait a minute. I didn't think of that. Don't worry, Flower. It'll be fine. How close are you to getting your special meat? I still need to sort out Petrella and normal Paul. <laughs> Now it's a lot more like a robot costume. Still missing something though. The poster isn't going to stick to the box by itself. Need some glue or something. Something sticky. You again? Come in then. Please forgive me. How dare you! Right, the poster's good and sticky now. A foolproof disguise, no doubt. Okay, here we go. Toasty warm. Oh no, I've been found. It's okay. Keith. Keith. Is that you? Uh, yes. It is I, Keith the robot. I thought you were dead. Never mind all that. My friend Steggy sent me. Who's that then? Uh, the woman who was talking to you a few minutes ago. Oh. She said you needed a diagnostic. I do. Run diagnostic? Running. I am safe, clean and normal. Well, what do you know? I'm normal. Right, well, nice seeing you again. Bye now. Bye, Keith. My best and only friend that I ain't seen in years and thought were dead. Yeah, bye. Ah, that's better. Hey, so I hear you're officially normal again. You heard that already? I do not find this suspicious. Hey, listen, how'd you fancy coming with me and helping fix the cosmic scale of normality? That sounds terrible, love. But I have been in this bush for about ten years, and I'm starting to get bored. So, uh, go on then. Up you come then. Victory! <laughs> Here you go, one very normal 37 Udgrum robot. Safe, clean and normal. Yes, yes, this will do it. It's normal enough. I'm boss level normal, love. I can use his pure normalness to balance the cosmic scale of normality. Um, Terry. He's called Terry. Such a normal name. So normal. Steggy, I officially accept your apology. Now it's time to make amends with Petrella. Right, let's have a look at this then. This is good as new. You're telling me the labels come back. Ha, really? How bizarre. That's dead good. I can take it back to the shop and get my money back. Classic Petrella. Alright, Steggy. You've done enough. If you want the special meat, it's yours. Finally. I mean, thank you.
Finally, come to me, special meat. Meat victory! I shall now return home and finish baking this pie. Good luck, Steggy. Thanks, Normal Paul. There's no time to waste. Let's get this pie finished. Mmm, lovely. Ooh, that's a good hefty pie. Ah. Well, here we are. My pie is baked and I'm as ready as I'll ever be. It smells lovely, Steggy. You can't lose, babe. Right, let's get this over with. That voice seems familiar. Uh-oh. Look, I'm not eating that. Looks like you brought it here in your belly and puked it up. Thank you, Mr. Pie Man. Get out of my sight. Right, who's next? Uh, guys? Hmm, looks like an actual pie. Smells good. Let's have a taste. Oh, wow. That's great. What's your... Hello! You! Hey, up. It's the slug killer. Wait, what? Oi, Dustbot. Who read this yet? Ah, mate, Steggy wrote it. You destroyed my bike. You print this filth, you're disqualified. Forever. Lifetime ban. Oh, for crying out loud. After all that, I get disqualified. You're lucky I don't pull your bloody head off. Hey up, mate. You better bugger off back to London. Hi, Steggy's with us. You tangerine bollock. Aw, you guys. Where's the staff? The locals are being mean to me. You're not allowed. That's it. Off your pop, you chuffing nutter. I don't care what some fancy pants looking there in Tuspot from London says. This here is the best pie. Give me some. No me. No me. Today was a choice between my friends and being banned from this competition for life. Me first! Me! Give it to me! Yay, friends! I'm <laughs> sorry.